All right, UCLA and Arizona. Uh, next up here, we stay in the Pac-12. Uh, UCLA, three-point road favorites, uh, 52 the uh, total in this game. Big win for Arizona, man. I don't want to go against Arizona. They're on a roll. They should have beat USC uh, in overtime. Uh, Noah Fafita, quarterback, plays well. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, you look at this spot here, though, coming off that big game against Oregon State. They are back home. Another big opponent coming in. UCLA does have a very good defense. It seems like Chip Kelly is starting to gravitate more toward Ethan Garbers at quarterback rather than Dante Moore. Uh, that's definitely been the, uh, you know, what we've seen here from them uh, this week. So very interesting to see how this game plays out with uh, UCLA and Arizona. But, uh, it's, it's, you know, coming off the big win against Oregon State, I do worry about whether Arizona can rev it up again. But I'm not going against Jed Fish in Arizona right now. I like what I'm seeing. The quarterback play has been good. They found ways to win these games. Uh, UCLA is going to have to show me they can go on the road and take care of business. I lean Arizona. don't know if I'll bet it, but it would be Wildcats for me or nothing. What do you think here, Connor? Man, this is low here. You know, I, you just talked about, but I've hit it since Fafita. The kid's really good. He's flat out. But the more impressed, that's kind of how Arizona State's been playing, is this Arizona defense, I think, has gotten better and better every week. But man, we know how good UCLA's defense is. When I see this total, I, I lean under, but we know there could be points though in this game. So it's just a lean for me. And man, at UCLA, this would be big for them to go in there and win, but I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm going to look in this a little bit more, but I lean Arizona. Yeah, I do too. I, I do too in this one. I, I, they're playing really well uh, right now, the uh, Wildcats. And, uh, you know, Jed Fish, an outstanding coaching, just seven and one against the spread too. Meanwhile, UCLA just four and four. Uh, against the spread. So you talk about a team that's been flat out undervalued from day one this year. Uh, it's been this Arizona team. Hard to go against that 7-8 yeah. they've covered this year for the uh, Wildcats.